Hello everyone, welcome back to the Average YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your local MySQL database to the Power BI. So let's get started. So when you open the Power BI, if you come over here in the Get Data, and if you click on More Option, let's say you want to connect to the MySQL database. So if you come come to the database, and if you click on the MySQL database, and then you click on Connect, you will might see this type of error. This connector requires one more additional component to be installed before it can be used. So basically, there is a one connector required in order to connect your Power BI into the MySQL database. So if you if you want to download that connector to come to this particular website, I've given this link in the description as well, MySQL Community Download. So this is the particular software that you want to install and you need to click on the download button. Now, once you click on the download, uh, no thanks, just I want to download. So as you can see, it's got downloaded. Now let's install it. Click on next, I want to install next, install. It's asking, it's asking for the permission, just give yes. And I'll sort it, finish. Now come back to the Power BI, see. Close up the Power BI. Now let's reopen the Power BI app. Now, once you have opened your Power BI app, now if you click on the get data again, and let's say click on the more option. And in the more option, let's select the MySQL database again. So database, MySQL connect. Now you'll see that it is gone. Now you need to write a server name or the database. Now what's the server name or database you're going to write? Now for the for that, let's come to the my uh, SQL workbench. Let's say I want to connect with this my database. This is my local database. Okay, I'm not connecting with my cloud. This is a local database that you have created from just clicking over here. You can create your own database as well. So let's say I want to connect my local database. I right click on this local one and I click on edit connection. So there is something called a you host name and the port number so what will i do i'll copy this post name and i'll come over here and paste it and give a semicolon to it and let's give a port number as well after the semicolon and which database you want to connect let's say i'll connect with this particular database uh, it's asking for the password let's give the password so once you give the password you'll see let's say i want to connect with this dummy date Database. So what will I do? I'll click on the dummy, give the name of the particular database and click on OK. As you can see, it's asking for the password. Let's say I will go with the database and click on the use uh, the selected one above and just give the username. Let's say my username is root and my password I'll just put in the password over here and I'll click on connect. It's trying to connecting it. Just wait a while. Now you can see these two files which I have in my database, employee data and the employees data. You can see these are is my, I can import it. Now I can click on the transfer button. It will land me in the Power Query. So that's the way you can connect your MySQL into the Power Bank. So I hope you guys like the video, follow Ivy YouTube channel.